Dear Ken, the moment I met you, I knew you were the one. That may sound cliche, but I truly knew it and even told my roommates after our first date that I would marry you. Since that first date, we have been through so much together. Long distance, months without, months without seeing each other, and weeks without being able to speak. It only made us stronger. Today truly is a special day. A day to bring these two together in holy matrimony. And when you think about the hopes and aspirations of a couple, and the day that they get married, at the top of the list, they marry someone who will love them completely, help them to become a better person than they ever would have become on their own, share their same life dreams, and together create a legacy that what they leave behind is better than it would have been had they done otherwise because of what they did together. And I believe that both Ken and Madison have found this. I can take you, Madison. Take you, Madison. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Madison. Take you, Ken. Take you, Ken. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to honor, appreciate, and adore you each day of our lives. I can't wait to see where life takes us whether it be the happy times like children and traveling or the hard times like loss, we'll face everything together. I will be here for you through the good times and the bad, through sickness and health, always and forever. And one day, when we are old and gray, I will look in the mirror and blame you for the lines around my mouth and cheeks, for all the smiles and laughs you have provided me. I admire your toughness and your work ethic, but I have to say that I probably do owe some of my own toughness to you because growing up arguing with an aspiring lawyer is no easy task. You are my oldest friend and I want nothing but happiness for you always. I'm so happy that you found that in such an amazing person. Ken, thank you for loving my sister and treating her with respect. I am grateful that Madison found someone as equally as amazing as her. Madison met Ken, uh, she told me that she was going on to see with this guy and that she hung out with him like every day for two weeks afterwards. <laughs> Madison's time is valuable. So the fact that she gave <laughs> somebody so much attention, I knew he was special off the bat. It wasn't that much longer later that she just said, hey, I think you're gonna marry this guy one day. Um, she had so much confidence and conviction in her voice. I've never heard those words come out of her mouth, ever, in her life. I believed her. I hadn't met the guy yet, but I was like, well, if she's going to say this, then sure, why not? But the one thing that consistently happened for me is every single time I thought of my brother and I thought of a memory, I smiled. And I think everybody in this room, what do you think about Kenny you smile? them, I see an example of selfless love. And just to keep it short, I'm extremely honored and just extremely blessed to have that in my life. And you all are as well. It's one thing I like to say about my father is he gave the shirt off his back to his enemy. Imagine what he did for you. And that's getting bigger. And that's Madison Kyger. It needs to be more incredible. And uh, on behalf of my family, I'm just saying you for being here.